Swallowing a tube with a probe is unpleasant, and many people are afraid of the anoscope proctologists use. But now, you can have a full visual examination of the small and large intestines, as well as the entire esophagus and rectum using an endoscopic capsule. It is the size of a vitamin. It has one or two cameras and six LED lights. You swallow it with water like a pill. In 24 hours, it travels through the entire digestive tract, taking 10,000 pictures. The images are transmitted wirelessly to a device worn on the body. The doctor then uploads the images to a computer and reviews them. The capsule can detect bleeding, polyps, cancer, and tumors. The endoscope is reliably protected from acid so it does not dissolve. The capsule exits naturally with a stool and you can flush it down the toilet. In Japan, where there are not enough young workers for the railway, they have created a robot that could replace them. This huge, two-armed machine is mounted on the boom of a crane with a reach of 40 feet. This allows for adjusting both the height and the distance from the chassis. The robot is equipped with cameras that transmit images to the pilot's cabin. For better orientation, the operator works with VR glasses and controls it remotely. The robot's arms can be changed to equip it with different attachments. Because of this, it can hold a paintbrush, a chainsaw, or grips for lifting objects. Currently, the main purpose of the robot is trimming branches along the railway tracks and painting metal frames that support cable systems. In the future, they plan to equip the invention to undertake any type of maintenance work on the rails. Of all pedestrians hit by cars, 75% of cases happen at night. The company Magna has created a solution to help drivers see what headlights can illuminate. They offer a thermal scanner the size of a golf ball, integrated into the car's hood. This new technology is now available in more than 40 car models, including Bentley, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, Porsche, Dodge, Ram, and Jeep. The thermal scanner detects temperature differences up to 0.1 degrees at a distance of up to 330 feet, which is much farther than headlights can reach. The technology can recognize the size of the heat source so it can tell the difference between a person and a domestic or wild animal. It also includes algorithms that help the driver navigate the road, taking into account the speed of the detected object. The scanner helps not only at night, but also in heavy smoke or fog. An air conditioner can save you from the heat at home and in the car. But what about people who walk or work outside? For them, there is the Kujak vest. It has six aluminum plates on the back that absorb body heat well. The heat energy is then transferred to radiators, which are cooled by fans. This process releases the heat into the outside environment. The system runs on a built-in battery that lasts for two hours. In the dark, the fans light up, increasing safety for cyclists and runners. But the vest can also be worn under clothing. Future versions are planned to maintain a set temperature. There have always been problems with placing advertisement signs and screens because they take up a lot of space. When installed on building facades, they block windows. For this reason, the company Muxwave has come up with a flexible display with 92% light transmission that looks like a mosquito net. Sunlight can pass through it and you can see outside from inside the room. The display is a film 0.07 inches thick. It is made of fiberglass that transmits light from diodes. The pixel pitch is 0.15 inches. It has 16-bit performance. The image is very clear and smooth, and you can create a large seamless screen size of 7 by 10 feet from the strips. This flexible display with highlight transmission will be used on facades and transport to show ads and create signs. The company Exco Rider has made a revolution in robotics by introducing the world's first tabletop robot with artificial intelligence. The bipedal model has two wheels, allowing it to move on both wheels and legs. Built-in sensors detect speed, posture, and position in space. The robot is self-balancing, which improves its maneuverability and makes it all-terrain. 
Its artificial intelligence is designed to recognize voice commands and gestures. The robot responds with text on a screen or graphic images that mimic emotions. You can control the robot remotely with a smartphone using its camera as your eyes. The Tabletop Companion helps you get to know the world of robots even better. From tabletop inventions to giant ones, a massive underwater tunnel is being constructed under the Baltic Sea connecting Germany and Denmark. This 11.2-mile tunnel will support both car and rail traffic, reducing travel time from 45 minutes by ferry to just 7 to 10 minutes. The tunnel is built using a unique sectional technology with 86 concrete elements. Large and small sections are cast on land at a concrete plant. A standard section weighs 73,000 tons and includes two roadways for cars, two railways for trains, and one service passage. The tunnel will require 360,000 tons of reinforcement, which is 50 times more than in the Eiffel Tower. The steel frame is pre-welded from channel bars, then placed into molds and covered with concrete. After the concrete sets, the molds are removed. Sealed partitions close the internal passages. Each element is moved into a dry dock via rails. The dock is flooded and barges tow the reinforced concrete structure to the installation site, where it is submerged to a depth of 131 feet and joined to the others. Installation occurs in a trench dug in the seabed, and the excavated sand is used to create beaches. After joining the blocks, the water between partitions is pumped out and the partitions are removed. The tunnel will be covered with rocks and sand. In Rodbyhaven and Fairmarn, portal buildings are being constructed for a smooth transition between the tunnel and the land highway. The underwater road is designed to last for 120 years. Setting up a stationary office or a summer house requires many permits. Mobile structures, however, do not have such strict requirements. Therefore, Tenfold Engineering has developed a mobile office that can be set up anywhere and quickly moved to another location. Deployment is automatic and can be done by one person in 60 minutes. Upon arrival, the sidewalls extend and hydraulic supports emerge from the bottom. This allows the module to be lifted and the truck to drive away. The platform then lowers to a comfortable level and self-levels, after which a porch, balcony, and railings unfold. The office connects the solar panels, allowing its kitchen appliances, beds, washing machine, toilets, air conditioning, and heating to function. When unfolded, the block measures 20 by 20 feet with a height of 9.5 feet. When folded, its size is identical to a shipping container. Here is another example of transforming from small to large. Watching TV or playing video games is always more fun on a big screen, but a TV takes up a lot of space on the wall and is heavy. A compact projector from Philips solves this problem. It projects an image with a 100-inch diagonal. You can do this even in a small bedroom because the distance from the wall is only 20 inches. At 24 inches, the diagonal expands to 120 inches. For better clarity, use a screen that is lightweight and folds up after use, taking up no space. The picture is crystal clear with 1080 pixels resolution. The triple laser RGB technology ensures a bright color palette. Now, let's move from the above ground world to the underwater one. There are many devices capable of deep diving, but they only allow you to see what's happening underwater or recorded on camera. Scientists from Stanford have invented an underwater robot that not only sees, but also works at depths up to 0.62 miles. A tactile interface has been developed for control. The operator sits on the surface in a chair and holds on to movable handles. On a large screen, they see everything the robot sees through two cameras installed in its eyes. The head rotates for better visibility. By moving the handles, the operator controls the robot's arms. It has a two-way connection. The operator feels how much force the robot is using to grip objects. This allows performing various research tasks in the oceans, from collecting corals to examining shipwrecks. You can admire the beauties not only underwater. 
In the Norwegian city of Trondheim, there is an observation platform that offers stunning views of the architecture. But to reach it, you need to tackle an 18% incline over 426 feet. To make it easier for cyclists, a special lift was designed. All you have to do is place your right foot on a small platform and it will push you and your bike to the top. No need to pedal. And the best part? The ride is free. Have you ever wondered how seaplanes are launched and retrieved from water? Some people's minds boggle when they see such a tow vehicle, resembling half of a backward trailer attached to a Ford F-250 without a truck bed. The trailer is positioned in the front, allowing the driver to have a clear view of the towed plane for precise parking. The front wheels of the vehicle always remain on the ramp, ensuring good traction. Measuring distances with a tape measure is never easy because you have to stretch, hold, and rewind it. Laser rangefinders, which are supposed to make this easier, are only good for straight lines without obstacles. The latest invention, the Neo Ruler Go keychain, outshines them all. It's no bigger than a lighter, with a laser point for easy marking and a rotating wheel connected to a sensor. Just point the laser at the starting point, roll the wheel to the end point, and lock the laser there. The display shows the distance in inches, feet, miles, millimeters, centimeters, kilometers, and yards. This new tool can measure distances along straight lines and curved surfaces on flat and convex surfaces alike. An upgraded version of the keychain includes a built-in graphite pencil for jotting down measurements or marking immediately. Although laptops are very portable, their screens are catastrophically inadequate. Tests show that switching between open program tabs can take up to 10 seconds, resulting in wasted time. But that's not an issue with the Quanviso Xten Pro Slim Monitor. This new device includes a mount for laptops ranging from 11 to 17.3 inches in diagonal size. Three additional monitors can be attached to it with clips, taking just 15 seconds. All screens are merged into one using a USB Type-C cable. This allows you to watch sports or play computer games on a large screen. While working, documents and program windows can be spread across different monitors. The system is flexible. You can position and connect the screen above, to the right, or to the left. The design is stable and lightweight. Just as you can upgrade your laptop, you can now upgrade your bicycle. The Switch Bike Kit allows you to transform it from a regular pedal bike into an electric one. The kit includes a new wheel with a built-in hub motor, a rotation sensor, and a disc for the large sprocket that works with it. A display showing the battery level and the battery itself are mounted on the handlebars. Several battery options are available for order, determining the maximum range from 9 to 18 miles. When ordering, you'll need to know the size of your bike's wheels, as one of them will need a complete replacement. You can also choose a color that matches your bike's existing design. This innovation lets you convert your bike to electric, saving energy on long rides and creating a unique model that doesn't look like a standard one. Introducing an upgrade that created a hybrid between a scooter and a go-kart. It's no secret that long rides on a scooter can be tiring. Your legs get tired quickly. Plus, the high center of gravity can make it hard to control on rough terrain. But the Fido Beast scooter can be transformed into a go-kart with just a few steps. The handlebar lowers by shortening the telescopic stand. A lower clamp lets you adjust the tilt angle, leaning the handlebar towards the rider. There's a small seat above the rear wheel, and footrests fold out on each side of the front. After these adjustments, you can continue riding while seated, reducing fatigue and improving maneuverability off-road. Continuing with the theme of upgrading two-wheel transport, meet the new electric bike with the unique Centrix Drive from ZF. This innovation features a pedal system based on tensile waves. Torque is transmitted through equipment located on the bottom bracket, rather than through a traditional gear system. This design doesn't require the usual cylindrical shape and is much more compact compared to Shimano and Bosch offerings. This makes it easier to integrate into the bike frame. 
The gear ratio of 1 to 50 is unique in the market and prevents overloading. The bike comes in two dry versions, 600 watts for mountain terrain and 450 watts for city use. According to statistics, adults in America kill 190 million houseplants each year because they don't know how to care for them. A new gadget has been developed to help such people. It plugs into the plant pot and gathers information about temperature, humidity, and nutrients in the soil. This data is sent to the user's smartphone through a special app. The app will advise you if you're watering plants too much or too little. Additionally, the gadget analyzes the room's microclimate and suggests suitable plants. It connects via Wi-Fi and is compatible with smart home systems. When installed, it can automatically start watering systems. The app keeps a history for each plant to understand its needs. Thanks to this innovation, fewer house plants will die. Today, you learned about innovations in endoscopy, large and small robots, a long underwater tunnel, and advancements in the world of two-wheel transport. We hope it was diverse and useful. If you want to be among the first to see the next episode featuring the latest innovations and achievements of humanity, subscribe to our channel.